Now, my student, uh, we are moving on the next uh, example. That is your uh, example number eighteen. Example number eighteen. About this example number eighteen, we had already studied in a Gauss theorem, student. Electric flux passing through each phase of the cube. That answer it was six q by six epsilon zero. Okay, and the total flux through the cube it was answer was q by epsilon zero. This type of some special cases that we have studied in a Gauss theorem. So now the question of this example number eighteen it should be like this: a point charge plus ten microcoulomb is at a distance five centimeter directly above the center of the square of side ten centimeter. As shown in figure, what is the magnitude of electric flux through the square? Or think of the square as a one face of the cube with edge ten centimeter. Think that, think that the square, or uh, think that of the square of one face of the cube with the edge of ten centimeter. Okay. First one, this is our plane. Length is ten centimeter, ten centimeter. Charge Q is tiny, above the plane at a five centimeter. This is the plane, or this is the one of the face of the cube. Now draw the complete cube. Now calculate the total flux. Total flux of this cube is Q by epsilon zero. It is a flux. It is a flux through the how many faces? Six faces. It is a flux through the how many sides? Six sides. First of all, the square can be considered as one face of a cube of h ten centimeter. It is a one face of the cube. Which center where the charge Q is placed? According to Gauss theorem, the total flux passing through all six faces, all six faces, flux phi total is equal to Q by epsilon zero. This is the flux due to six faces. We require the flux due to only one face. Due to one face, flux is less. The answer will be Q by six epsilon zero. Hence, the electric electric flux through one of the face of the cube is Q by six epsilon zero. Now, example is completed. Substitute their values. What is the value of charge Q? It is ten microcoulomb. Write down ten into ten is one six. What is value of epsilon zero? Six as it is. Epsilon zero eight point eight five four ten is two minus twelve. So it by calculating them, your answer will be one point eighty eight into ten is two five newton meters per per coulomb. A very simple. Only one equation can be used. Flux phi one of the phase is equal to Q by six epsilon zero. Q Q one epsilon zero. We know very well. You can get the answer. Okay. Now this example number eighteen is completed. Now we are moving on the next example. That is your example number nineteen. Again, the same equation can be used to the equation of Gauss theorem. Flux phi is equal to q by epsilon zero. Now the equation of the example number nineteen it is to be like this: A point charge of two microcoulomb is at the center of the cubic Gaussian surface, nine centimeter on edge. What is the net electric flux through the surface? So again, this example are related to the cube, but question is different. What is the total or net electric flux of the cube? The net electric flux of the cube is q by epsilon zero, but due to one phase is q by six epsilon zero. Okay, the so charge q is equal to two microcoulomb. Epsilon zero, you know very well, eight point eight five four ten to minus twelve coulomb square newton meter square. By the Gauss theorem, flux phi is q by epsilon zero. Substitute their values. What is value of q? Two microcoulomb. Micro is ten to minus six. Epsilon zero eight point eight five four ten to minus twelve. So then, by calculating them, your answer will be two point twenty six into ten to five newton meters per per coulomb. We have very simple example. Again, so then this type of smaller example, it is to be asked in one marks, not in three marks. Okay. Now we are moving into the next example. That is your example number twenty. Again, it is related to the Gauss theorem. Okay. Now the question of the example number twenty it is to be like this: A point charge causes an electric flux of minus one into ten s to three newton meter square per coulomb to pass through a spherical Gaussian surface of ten centimeter radius centered on the charge. First question: If the radius of the Gaussian surface were doubled, how much flux would pass through the surface? Second question. What is the value of point charge? Into first question, we double the radius. Calculate the again flux. Into second question, what is the value of charge? 
student gaussian surface does not depends on the size of the body does not depends upon the size of the body if we are double the radius but amount of the charge is not change amount of the enclosed charge is not change therefore the flux is not change therefore answer of the flux it is remains as it is same answer that is to be explained according to boss theorem electric flux depends on the net charge enclosed inside a body depends upon the net charge enclosed inside a body it does not depends on the size of body if the radius is double flux passing through the surface remains same no change in flux okay the answer of the first question is completed we regard the second question calculate charge how do you use the boss theorem flux phi is equal to q by epsilon zero make a subject of charge therefore phi will be epsilon zero value of phi is equal to it is a bond into 10 s minus phi into 10 s to 3 value of epsilon zero 8.854 10 s to minus 12 okay by calculating them 3 minus 12 minus 9 so did 8.854 10 s to minus 9 means what it is a minus 8.854 nano coulomb this much amount of the charge it is enclosed by the surface okay very simple again this example number 20 is also completed now we are moving on the next example that is our example number 21 so in this example number 21 it is to be related to the electric field electric field outside the spherical cell outside the spherical cell equation is kq by r square but inside the spherical cell electric field is zero studied in our last year of this chapter now the question of this example number 21 it is to be like this a conducting sphere of radius 10 cm has an unknown charge if the electric field 20 cm from the center of the sphere is 1.5 into 10 raised to 1.5 to 10 raised to 3 newton per coulomb and the points radially inverse what is the net charge on the sphere a student the radius of the sphere is 10 cm given but value of the electric field is given at a distance of 20 cm this distance is more than that of radius of the sphere more than that of the radius of the sphere so that it is a electric field outside the sphere okay now electric field is 1.5 times to 3 newton per coulomb distance r is 20 cm convert into meter 0.2 meter so that electric field at the outside point of the conducting sphere is given by kq by r square kq by r square e given r given calculate charge q make a subject of q so that q is equal to dj e r square by k what is value of e 1.5 to 10 to 3 distance r is equal to 0.2 square and k is equal to 9 to 10 to 9 by calculating them your answer will become 6.67 into 10 to minus 9 10 to minus 9 means it is nano coulomb amount of the charge on the surface of the sphere is 6.67 nano coulomb where well, student in your question is given that the electric field is in inverse direction direction is inverse it is so that that sphere is negatively charged that sphere is negatively charged so that as the electric field is inverse charge q must be a negative so that you can say that q is equal to minus 6.7 nano coulomb we place the sign minus sign due to inverse electric field due to inverse electric field if the electric field is outwards then you say it is a plus sign it is a positive charge fine so now the example number 21 is also completed where well, now we are moving on the next example that is your example number 22 the question of the example number 22 is to be, it is to be like this a uniformly charged conducting sphere of 2.4 meter diameter has a surface charge density 80 micro coulomb or meter square first question find the charge on the sphere second question what is the total electric flux leaving the surface of the sphere first question find out charge second question find out the what total flux leaving from the sphere okay let's run the diameter of the sphere is 2.4 meter now radius r is root d by 2 2.4 by 2 so the radius of the sphere is 1.2 meter surface charge density sigma is 80 micro coulomb per meter square 
it is micro coulomb so it convert into coulomb then it's one six coulomb per meter square so to calculate the charge through the surface charge density using the equation of surface charge density that is surface charge density sigma is equal to charge per unit surface area let me speak by yes when it is a sphere therefore the surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r square now simple radius r given sigma given you just make a subject of q so that charge q is equal to sigma into 4 pi r square all the values are given the sigma is 80 micro 10 is 1 6 4 pi is it is r is equal to 1.2 and whole square by calculating them your value of the charge q will become 1.447 into 10 is 1 3 coulomb this much charge q it is lying on the surface of the sphere now calculate the word total flux coming out from this surface so the flux phi of q by epsilon 0 charge q is equal to 1.447 into 10 s minus 10 s minus 3 and epsilon 0 is equal to 8.854 into 10 s minus 12 so the flux coming out it is 1.63 into 10 s to 8 newton meter square per coulomb okay only two equations are used first equation sigma q sigma is equal to q by 4 pi r square q upon 4 pi r square now make a subject of q and the second second equation there is q phi is equal to q by epsilon zero simple okay now this example number it is 20 d also completed now we are moving to the next example there is the example number 23 first one this example number 23 it is to be related to the electric field due to infinitively long uniformly charged wire Electric field due to infinitely long uniformly charged wire and that electric field is given by lambda upon 2 pi epsilon 0 1 by r. Now the question it is to be like this of the 23. An infinite line chart produce a field of 9 to 10 to 4 newton per coulomb. Electric field is given at a distance 2 cm. Calculate the linear chart density. So that means what? Calculate linear chart density lambda. Calculate linear charge density lambda. Simple only one equation can be used and make a subject of lambda. Where should E given 9 into 10 to 4 newton per coulomb. Distance r is given 2 cm. Convert into meter, 1 to meter. Now the electric field due to infinitely long uniformly charged wire that is E is equal to lambda by 2 pi epsilon 0 into 1 by r. What we require here? Only lambda. Now make a subject of lambda. Therefore, lambda is equal to e into 2 pi epsilon 0 r. Destroying multiplication. Now substitute the values. What is value of e? 9 into 10 to 4. 2 pi is it is. Epsilon 0, 8.854 into 10 to minus 12. And distance r is equal to 0 0.02. By calculating them, your answer will be coming 1000 into 10 to minus 10. So then you can write down 10 to minus 7 coulomb per meter. Or in another form, 10 to minus 6 is removed. So they write down 10 to minus 1 micro coulomb per meter. This is the value of linear charge density in terms of 10 to minus 7 or in terms of the 10 to minus 1 micro coulomb per meter. The only single equation can be used to solve this example. Okay?